Good afternoon. Welcome to our KRQB.com webcast. I'm Mike Powers. Let's start with Kristen Van Dyke and the forecast. Kristen? Good afternoon. Sunny and nice again today with temperatures on the mild side. We are going to have to watch for the winds picking up though tomorrow and Thursday. So red flag warnings in effect for tomorrow for the southwest. And then we have fire watches, fire weather watches over in the east for tomorrow and Thursday. Uh, winds up near 35 miles per hour tomorrow and then sustained at 35 miles per hour uh, for your Thursday with higher gusts possible with all the dry weather that's in place. Uh, it won't take much to fuel a fire. So definitely keep that in mind for the metro area looking at very pleasant temperatures again for the next several days. Highs in the low to mid 60s, even near 60 on Thursday. A little cooler by Friday, then the chance for showers moves in this weekend with highs a little cooler, topping out in the low 50s. The first accident of the year involving the New Mexico Rail Runner was rare indeed. No injuries. The Rail Runner was just gathering speed from the Los Lunas station going north when it collided with the Honda at Main Street and 314 around 7 this morning. Police say 57 year old David Thomas of Peralta panicked and backed up onto the tracks. Thomas said he got stuck between two vehicles. None of the 225 passengers on board the train was hurt. They were delayed about an hour. The accident also delayed passengers on a southbound train who were bused from Isleta to Los Lunas and Berlin. A woman who robbed several restaurants in the metro area was sentenced today. A judge sentenced Crystal Tafoya to 22 years in prison and suspended all but four. Police say Tafoya and another woman, Susie Zapata, pulled off the holdups while Tafoya's mother drove the getaway car and Zapata's two young children were asleep in the back seat. Officers arrested the woman, or women rather, after a tip was called into Crime Stoppers during a robbery at a Westside pizza parlor last year. Stay with KRQE for more news and weather updates throughout the day.